Allah, Akbar, we're gonna take control of this plane. Psychoanalysis by New Ages. They come up with a series of ideas doing a really basic but negative cold reading. They suggest a number of negative traits while you criticize their belief. And then if you say no, they say you're lying. I can't lie! Now this is simply a tactic to dismiss anything and indeed everything that you say when really they know practically nothing about you. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. They simply go by very often one video or a handful of videos and then say, oh, well, this must be the case. Now, you may suggest that this is what I do. However, the main difference is that I'm going there and saying what they're saying is factually incorrect. And I'm suggesting perhaps they do have issues if they truly believe in some of these deeply felt claims. If they do indeed experience things, perhaps they have bigger issues than having a false, demonstrably false belief. Perhaps they have bigger issues than merely being a person of faith. If a person claims to talk to angels and gods in a very literal sense, not purely a question of intuition or, I don't know, visualization in meditation, then I would suggest that they have certain issues themselves. If we were to go to the experts and say, you know, oh, this person is suffering from this, they're having this experience, that experience, and, you know, whatever number of uh, symptoms, they would suggest a certain medical condition. What I'm saying is you seem to share a number of the traits. That's it. And the rest is for lols, because after all, if you're willing to put your stupidity on the internet, people really should mock you. I can't lie! We're gonna take control of this plane, we're gonna 9-11 it!